Hello everybody and welcome to a tour around the upper deck of this Humber 40 and uh, we'll just go for a complete tour around the upper deck and point out the various bits and pieces as we go around to give you an idea of what she represents. So as you can see I'm standing at the port forward corner looking towards the starboard aft uh, quarter of, of this really lovely aft deck. Now it's a really good size here and you can see we're sheltered with these uh, fake bulwarks here. We've got lots of grab rails around as well. Grab rails all over the place to hold on to so if we're at sea at speed and if it's a bit rough then we've got something to hold on to. We have a passer rail here, we've got a companionway here which goes straight down to the uh, lovely, it's a vertical ladder down to the swim platform, so another place to alight from. And we have fender baskets either side and we've got a hatch there giving light and air and access down to the aft cabin. So I'll let you have a quick look in close up at the deck. Now this boat has been out in the Mediterranean for a number of years I believe, I'm not sure where else. Uh, but uh, So the upper deck has signs of wear which I'll show you uh, around the GLP later on. But this deck looks um, actually... Um, an initial assessment would tell me that it's quite worn. You can see where the, the dowel heads here have disappeared largely in places, although we do have a few still here, but they're going to be very, very thin, as you can see with this uh, small one here. Um, so I would assess that this is years of sun bleaching, years of pressure washing, scrubbing, has thinned it down, but um, actually I can't feel any soft spots. And, uh, you know, if you're happy with the way it looks at the moment, um, I don't think there's a huge amount that urgently needs doing. There's a bit of a green patch over here, not sure why. That's probably just the, the boat's aspect of the sun and the rain, etc. cetera. Um, but uh, obviously at some point, um, somebody will have to think about replacing it, but I don't think yet. And I haven't seen, although I haven't examined specifically for, I haven't seen any evidence of leaks down below which is good news so that's the uh, the teak decking if i just stand in the port aft corner you can see uh, we've got the companionway up to the flybridge where we go in a few minutes and we've got a really really nice very very easily slide openable wrong word i know i'm sorry a slide open very very nice and easily with one hand and uh, down you go and of course when that's open you've got a, a massive effective window open so lots of ventilation it is a, a, a translucent so lights going down there anyway which is great and of course you can see you've got the curtain there for privacy and as I mentioned before, we've got handhold, handhold, handhold all the way around here, handhold. So really, really safe feeling. Lovely, great big cleats as well, port and starboard aft corners. And uh, we, uh, we have midships cleats as well. well. That's really great. So here's a view along the starboard side deck. A little bit of a step down here from the high aft deck that gives us lots of uh, headspace down in the aft cabin as well as a great view from up here we're nice and high and um, as we step down we've got a, a garden gate here which is closed at the moment and onto the starboard side deck now i have mentioned in the uh, the whole close-up video this boat has suffered in the sun for a long time so whatever this coating is whether it be paint or or old gel coat and i think it is the gel coat that's kind of coming away and uh, something needs to be done if you want this boat to look perfect because it would be a shame not to because she is such a beautiful looking boat um i'd assess that uh, the best thing to do for this would be to rub it down and use some kind of specialist uh, paint work on that but uh, yep you might have to do a little bit of research loads of lovely big tall windows giving lots of uh, a great view from inside the boat as well as lots of ventilation and light inside and we have got this um grab rail here that runs all the way along the coach roof all the way to the fore or all the way to the where the uh, the coach roof breaks down so something to hold on to here at all times Lovely big high sturdy guardrails as well. So I'm feeling nice and safe as I walk forward. A little bit of a slope up towards the foredeck and uh, that brings us up to the coach roof where again, I'll let you have a little closer look at uh, how this is here and what might need doing. Let's go right in close. There we go. And here's the top of the coach roof because we do like to make sure that people understand what a boat is all about, what may need doing, what may not need doing before you decide to visit. So if you have any questions about that, just give me a shout or if you want any special photos taken, just to give you an idea if you're budgeting for repairs up towards the um towards the fore deck you can see we've got some massive windows here great for watch keeping great view great light in etc and then we have got this really rather large fore deck here with a hatch inset and the anchor at the front which we'll see very shortly but lovely great big area and as you can see it's suffered from the sun as has the the rest of the upper deck um but uh yeah maybe you can sort that out but it is a 
great big area. Uh, plenty of room for, for sun lounges, deck chairs, dinghies, whatever it is you would like to store up here. And look at the size of this uh, cleat here as well. Really lovely big size. Fantastic, great big um, pulpit. So um, it feels like we've got lots of room in here, but we're still inside the guardrails, which is great. And uh, we've got um, an electric winch here. Really good access with your foot controls. And we've got a Danforth anchor sitting in its bow roller there, ready to go. So I'll just step forward and look aft and uh, let you have a look along the length of the coach roof and the windows and up to the flybridge area with the radar arch. And I'll just make my way back to the after deck and we'll take you for a look at the flybridge. There we go. There's a little bit more of a view of how things are up here. Here we go. Gas locker inset to the port side. So that's outside, which is great. And there's a step up to the aft deck where we'll just step up and turn around, point forwards and go towards the flybridge. Now, as flybridges go, this is really rather a nice one because it's high, got a great view everywhere and you've got uh, really good seating. So seating for three or four people here and probably seating for three here with the helm in the middle. Really, really rather nice. Let's have a quick look at the radar arch. So there we go. We've got the uh, scanner sitting on top. We've got the nav lights. We've got uh, one or two antennas as well. But these steps up are really, really nice and easy to get up. And we've got grab rail, grab rail, something to hold on to as we make our way up here. And the grab rail looks like it carries on yeah, all the way to the front here. And again, on the starboard side there. Very good indeed. Upholstery here looks great. I think I'd just give it a quick scrub, but I don't think there's any real need to change that. But there is a little bit of rot underneath here so um, just to secure this back down there's a I think the, the plinth that all this sits on uh, needs a new piece of ply sorted out there but uh, again for the joiners amongst you nice and easy small screen here um, I think that's it I don't think there are any more parts that may have been here so that's cool I don't think anything's fallen off but we'd have to check that but obviously you can see that uh, we have plenty of room up here nice room for your feet and um, we have the usual things you would expect to see up here up here steering wheel engine controls engine instrumentation throttles um uh, autopilot all that kind of stuff so uh, all out in the weather though and probably has seen better days so we uh, we really need to check that out but there are some detailed photos of those elsewhere in the advert and then uh, finally just before we finish there's a view over the uh, top of the coach roof so if you're driving this boat you've got a really great commanding view we can see the cleats we can see the pontoon we can see the whole foredeck and if you turn round all we have to do is step back and we can see exactly what's going on with uh, with the aft deck there and also the side deck over here with the uh, the center cleat just down there so really great view for sitting here and uh, commanding the people who are, help, who are helping you to get alongside okay so this has been tim from boatshed drop brokers just taking you for a quick tour of the upper deck of this humber 40 thanks for watching i uh, hope you've uh, managed to understand a little bit of detail about the boat and uh, if you'd like any more information just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures videos and virtual reality. Have a great day.